little girls are being sold like commodity in Afghanistan. Firstly, we would like to extend our apology to you because in this video, we feel that we need to bring you a very heartbreaking story pertaining underage girls being sold like commodity in Afghanistan for a variety of reasons. In late 2021, CNN, an American news outlet, reported that and documented that it is common in Afghanistan for a father to sell his young daughters to somebody else for some amount of money due to poverty or other reasons. Here is the picture of one of the fathers who sold his young daughter to somebody else for some amount of money so that he can eat. Shame on him. Laknatullah, may Allah curse him. Her name is Parwana, the daughter who is going to be sold by his father in literally few minutes later. She was barely nine years old. Hafizullah, may Allah protect her. Here comes the man who is intending to buy young children for whatever his reason is. Shame on him. Laknatullah. May Allah curse him. This is the transaction when the buyer paid the father some amount of money in exchange for his young daughter. The father is the one who received the money. Laknatullah. May Allah curse them. Shame on them. This is when the handover was being done. As you can see in this picture, the mother was crying and the daughter also was crying because they did not want to be separated. This is very sickening. Hafizullah, may Allah protect them. This is the picture where the young daughter was literally dragged away from her family by force out of her will. As you can see from this picture, the daughter was resisting to the very last second. However, Qadarullah, Qadarullah, Allah has determined that the daughter was finally separated from her mother. Hafizullah, may Allah protect her. This is very saddening and very sickening at the same time. This is slavery. This is human trafficking. And moreover, this is against the teaching of Islam. Bismillah. In one authentic hadith recorded in Sahih Bukhari, it is stated that An Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Qala Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Qolallahu, Allah said that this means that it is the word of Allah articulated by Prophet Muhammad and not the personal opinion of Prophet Muhammad. This is known as Hadith Al-Quds. Salasatun ana husmuhum. I, meaning Allah, will be against three types of person on the judgment day one of them is someone who sells a free human being and eats the money the other two are someone who makes covenant in the name of Allah, then being treacherous, and an employer who cheats his employee. What that Muslim father did to his daughter is selling a free human being as slave for money, then use that money for food. That is against Allah the creator of this universe himself. Shame on that father. This is not even a marriage. 
in the Quran, Allah said, Ya ayyuhalladzina amanu, O you who have believed, Ati'ullah, obey Allah, Wa'ati'u rasula, obey the messenger, Wa'ulil amri minkum, and obey the ulil amri, or the government among you. In Islam, marriage must be registered by the ulil amri, or by the Islamic government. What you see in this video is not marriage. There was not any marriage contract. There was not any dowry. There were not witness. In conclusion, this is human trafficking. This is slavery done by Muslim who doesn't understand what Islam is. This is what happened when we Muslims abandoned the teaching of Islam. When we Muslims abandoned the knowledge of Islam, Muslims and Muslims and Islam are two different things. Islam is not what Muslims do. Islam is what Muslims must do. Let us pray to Allah so that Allah may rectify our condition. Allahumma gfir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat innaka qoribun mujibu da'wat Rabbana atina fi dunya hassanah wa fil ahirati hassanah Wakina azaban